what sorts of stuff do you buy uh, multiples of? I bought uh, uh, fleece slacks, fleece pants. They were my Kansas City Chiefs pants. And I wasn't sure which size it was going to fit. So I bought two sizes and then returned the other to Kohl's, which was pretty funny because we're at Kohl's in New York and nobody was buying Chiefs things in New York. I just ordered hiking boots and they came here because my feet are shrinking along with my whole body. Apparently I've lost half an inch <laughs> since my twenties. I'm 56. And I was at the doctor. I'm like standing taller. I'm like, I'm five, seven. I'm like, no, you're five, six and a half. <laughs> my feet grew a size with kids and now they're apparently going back down. So I got a nine and a half, but it's a little tight. So I ordered a 10 because I'm just going to take them right back to Kohl's, whatever one doesn't fit and easily return them. If I'm going to go into a store, let's say in Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack, I just don't have the time to get everything and do a power shopper and, and power uh, try on. You never know what brand you're buying. If you're buying a brand you're not familiar with, you don't know how they're going to fit. So I just, it's just easier to, to order several sizes and not have to go get out of the house and go try them on so but i really read the reviews that was the big one for me so i've always had trouble finding shoes because i have a big lady foot it's a size 11 and it's really narrow i've had ladies ask me and say well why don't you just wear men's shoes and i'm like well first of all they are men's shoes most of them want to go with my outfit and secondly, um, that they're, they're always too wide and the arch supports in the wrong place. And then I got introduced to Zappos and they saved the day. It's free shipping both ways. You've got almost an entire year. I think you get an entire year to return your shoes. And if you have to call customer service, they're like the nicest people in the world. And they'll talk to you forever. And you yeah, get a daily really job. Oh. You get yeah. a daily joke? A joke of the day when you call Zappos. I needed these hiking shoes and they have to fit right. So I think I ordered about 22 pairs of shoes and I probably have a photo somewhere that I could send you. And everybody was like, why are you buying all these shoes? I'm like, no, no, no. I'm really only going to purchase probably two pair. You do, we don't get mail service. So we have to literally go to town and go to our little overworked post office and, you know, one person. And so the return aspect isn't as easy up here. Walmart will deliver to our home. Amazon will not. So Amazon goes through the post office. So something that says is two day on Amazon will be maybe four or five to a week with for our little post office to process it. So up here, I don't find the online return policy easy to do. If you had to pay to return it, would that affect your uh, habit? Yeah, absolutely. I, would, I wouldn't do it. Anything that you buy online should be free return because, I mean, you're not in the store shopping. You're not in the store right there looking at it and shopping. Things can look deceiving <laughs> over, over the camera. Things can look so great and then you get it and you're like, this it? This is what it is? <laughs> I've learned some hard lessons along the way about uh, like buying stuff that wasn't quite right and then keeping it because I didn't want to schlep over somewhere and then just like it sat in the closet for two years and then I finally took it to the women's yeah. shelter you know like that's just um, do yeah. you ever what and do it you still think? has the tag on it so you feel oh, really good about giving it away because <laughs> at least it's new you're not like here my thing that's <laughs> got a hole in it that you don't even want I've got an enormous amount of surplus of clothes that I end up just donating either to friends and family or to local uh, charities uh, around here. Uh, it's just, it's exhausting, quite frankly. It's exhausting. <laughs> Are you surprised when Amazon says, oh, just keep it? I mean, how, was, was that surprising to you? It is surprising to me because most of the time when I buy something, Amazon, like not clothes or something, it, um, you can exchange it or just keep it now because you know it's a pandemic. We don't, you know, we don't accept that now. I worked yeah. for a mail order company as a buyer a couple of years ago when I first started out, and we factored bad debt into our prices all the time. So our prices were inflated for items that were returned or people didn't pay for whatever it was. We factored that into the cost that every customer paid for, regardless. 
Do you ever think like, gee, I wonder what happens to this dress when I send it back? Is that, what do you think happens to it or does it cross your mind? Oh, I never thought of that. Well, I just assume they put it back in their stock and resell it. I assume that they just uh, reshelf them. Do you assume it's restocked or do you think some of it may end up? Uh... Okay, now you're going to make me feel bad. No, I have purposely tried to ignore that. I have ignored that because I like the returning. So yes, perhaps that has caused a huge amount of waste. From the environmental aspect, not so much with my shoes. I don't worry about it because trust me, when they make us, when retailers make a run of shoes, the, the extended sizes like 11s and 12s, they make the fewest of those. So I always feel like when I'm returning those shoes, I'm giving somebody else the opportunity to find them. And so that's how I rationalize it. Well, I figure someone's going to capitalize on that opportunity. And I have seen a lot of posts on, let's say, Marketplace through Facebook or, um, you know, other type of resale areas where people will just get like just massive surplus of returns and create businesses out of that. So if there's an opportunity for somebody else to capitalize on that experience, then I'd say go for it.